Hey guys, Ogi Saint here and welcome back to the channel. So, how are you guys doing after the last few days? Right before the season, we all got that massive patch and nobody liked it. It was just, everyone was ready to riot. And I think with the campfire chat after today, they have redeemed themselves. I have hope and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I don't white knight anyone. I'm going to give it my actual thoughts and just cover with you guys like an overall summary of the campfire chat. But the long and the short is there is quite a lot of W's for them in this one. A lot of good stuff they mentioned and just how they're going to be doing things from now on it was very see through with them. I really liked how they said it all. And yeah, I honestly with the patches before the big patch before that we all just got nerfed to the ground. I understand it kind of sort of from like a developer and what they were trying to go for. But this just really cements what they tried to do and try to achieve as the way they did it didn't feel very fun and i mean what's the point of us all playing a game if it's not fun we literally that's the whole basis that we can all agree on why we play games is because they're fun so take the fun away why are we still playing the game so let's get into it i have this over here that i have typed up for you guys myself took notes while watching the whole thing and then as well wow head the little summary is really really nice they've like put all the massive points in there too so we'll go over mine first and then we'll have a look at this one over here so let's have a look at it they acknowledged and agreed the patch was not fun they will not do this kind of patch ever again diablo 4 is about choice so they said that the nerfs kind of were done to bring stuff down so that everyone can kind of be on like a playing equal playing field so they can bring up other stuff in the future and but it all just came out too much at the same time because at the same time as the nerfs they were meant to give buffs to other things as well changes to the nightmare dungeons that actually made them easier and that was all meant to happen at the same time but for whatever reason they decided to just give us the nerfs and obviously as you can see it turned out to be a mistake and they won't do that again so let's get into it in the future they plan on giving us more build options if they ever do decide to nerf some outline class build they will give us another option at the same time like i said they don't like vulnerable being such a must-have for all builds really saying that they don't like how it scales multiplicatively my changes are additive they didn't say that specifically but obviously if it's not multiplicative it's going to be additive so we'll have to see how that all goes but they're probably still going to do some changes to vulnerable as we know it was nerfed pretty hard recently hotfix later today that is today right now when this video comes out nightmare dungeons were being buffed they were talking about monster density difficulty because what they originally said is that right now with the difference in power so after the big nerf patch what they kind of want is for a nightmare dungeon 100 to be brought down to a 70 so basically if you're doing a hundred if you're doing a nightmare dungeon 70 right now after the patch you should be able to then clear a nightmare dungeon 100 i don't want to say that it's that it's like exactly the same but in that ballpark and that area is kind of what they're going for so we can just assume that they're going to nerf nightmare dungeons difficulty they're going to buff monster density that was a given i'm not sure if this will be today with the hot fix or if it'll be next week when they talk about the 1.1 patch the density thing but this is all coming if not today then in the coming weeks with the 1.1.1 patch but there is going to be a massive hotfix today doing nightmare dungeons also join the discord i am actually doing like a whole overhaul changing everything up and yeah making roles and stuff and trying to build it up for you guys to get everybody in there and chatting and then i have this updates and news tab and i'll post the hotfix updates there as soon as that goes live and then i will make the video for you guys so let's carry on adjusting cc giving us better tools especially with added monster density all right so they don't like how the cc is either right now us pretty much being cc chained to death looking at changing it looking at changing experience gains makes levels 50 to 100 feel better but yeah they don't want it to be a job so making levels 50 to 100 is really slow well a lot slower after the changes obviously to the xp but then if we do get the monster density added that alone is going to increase the xp as there's more mobs to kill so that's like an indirect fix to it but they said they're still going to change and tune stuff to the xp as well so even with the density increase they'll probably still do some other stuff and then socks and bars were getting buffed in the next few weeks very soon well buffed and changed because patch 1.1.1 coming up asap they're going to be looking at the socks and the barbarian aspects and some more stuff with the class especially sock they said sock is in a dire need of a first aid kit right now next friday will be a live stream covering patch 1.1.1 so this coming friday exactly one week from today they'll be having the Pretty much talking about the whole patch and what will be coming in that it's going to be quite a big patch and it's mainly going to be focusing on the sock and the barb and probably some nightmare xp buffs as well so we'll see how that all goes 
they will make big changes at the start of a new season if needed so they said like it's really good to do these changes at the start of a season because that is the best time to change the meta if changes are in need so if they need to change something big they will never do it like in the middle of a season or something like that will always be at the start so that's good to know we'll put out the patch notes at least a week in advance from now on so no more like two days or well, we get the patch on the two days before the season and then we get the patch notes on the same day as the patch that won't happen again they said they will give us time in advance now to kind of digest and absorb the patch and you know communicate with them and be like yo this sucks or whatever so just that all in all looks pretty good reducing the respect cost by 40 percent just straight up flat so obviously gold they didn't really say anything about making it easier to respect but it will be cheaper at least so there's that adding one plus stash tab for now still working on alternate stash options that wasn't confirmed over there but they indirectly directly said that i'll be talking or like trying to do stuff with a stash and it's always a ongoing conversation at the at the company there gems are going into the material tab in season two that is still confirmed for right now uh, leaderboards looking at coming in season three with a new type of content to gauge the leaderboards off since the uh, nightmare dungeons are a bad type for that so they don't really want to add the leaderboards and then make it on nightmare dungeons so by the time season three comes around we'll probably have a new end game activity and then there'll be leaderboards for that activity so that's probably what they are planning over there and then this is my closing thought honestly looking hopeful and i can understand where it's all coming from that's the patch that they did the massive nerves and everything i mean i didn't enjoy it but i could kind of understand it but i still just did not feel good for the fun and how they did it but they have apologized and stated some good changes coming soon tm so my hope in them is still there i mean hope is all we need right so hope is there i'm not gonna say that i trust them 100 but like they fucked up they apologize so let's have a look at the wowheads real thing quick bit patch 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. so there will be another development live stream next friday we spoke of that sork barb will be primary focus monster density will be increasing nightmare dungeons during and during hell i forgot to mention that hell tide is getting buffed as well with the monster density there will be an additional stash tab alex's tax size will be increased by two or 299 respects cost will be reduced by 40 percent levels one uh, 50 to 100 will be adjusted so leveling will become easier and patch 1.1.1 should be released within the next couple of weeks and like uh adam said that next friday they will have the live stream and they said they want to give like a week in advance from now on with the patches so you could probably expect it within the next two two weeks is what i would say how updates will be handled going forward when making changes to increasing build diversity let some builds be overpowered until have let me just zoom this in until we have provided compelling alternatives these meta changes will occur at predictable times like the start of a season in situations where a bug is causing game breaking damage or crashes we will still react quickly so if there's something massive and game breaking happening during the middle of the season they will still you know act on it and not wait until the end of the season to fix it patch notes will be communicated at least a week before the actual patch is available so like i said with the next patch next week that obviously with it being on friday that's when it's going to be announced and i'm going to speak about it so the next friday then would be a week after that but anyway the mission statement a wide variety of viable builds to discover put together and optimize across all five classes new items and powers every season to keep the game fresh and increase build variety continually evolving in-game content with high monster density for powerful builds to mow down and activities to challenge your build make the game more fun for players nice Vulnerable damage was nerfed because it was overused in almost every endgame build. Yep. Tuning changes will continue to be made in order to make vulnerable damage more equal to the other sources of damage. Alright, so they're still going to choose vulnerable, like we said. Nightmare dungeons are considered too difficult. Nightmare dungeons will be rebalanced so that the future tier 100 dungeons will be more similar to the difficulty level of tier 90 dungeons, uh, tier 70 dungeons right now. A hotfix will be coming out later today to decrease the difficulty of high tier nightmare dungeons. Okay, so the hotfix is today and will be for the difficulty, probably not the density then. Nerfs to player power. Developers have stated there will be there will not be a patch that nerfs classes this hard ever again. Cooldown reduction was changed because it was considered the most powerful stat in the game. Season 2, there will be new endgame activity. So something along the lines of like Nightmare Dungeons Whispers World Boss will be a new activity added in season 2. That will probably be what they'll be working on then for season three to add leaderboards to that activity there will be more options to target farm uniques in season two resistances will be reworked as of part season two so that's good we don't have to stack armor anymore we probably will stack armor anyway but they're going to be reworking it up there 
there will be additional updates after patch 1.1.1 and before season two so in the next you know four months because this is going to last until october 17th is when they say it's season one well when you log into the game that's how long it says it's up for so that's quite a few months and there'll probably be quite a few updates between now and then leaderboards are planned for season three there will be opportunities to refight campaign bosses in the future players will have more opportunities to acquire uber uniques in the future tm 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 let us keep that all in mind but like i said all of that looks good that is it for this video guys hopefully you guys are happy about the patch and well i mean no one's happy about the patch but happy about the apology i guess we could take this as an apology letter and just all the good stuff there is good to come and not like there's good stuff coming in the next two years you know we don't have to wait 20 seasons it's all gonna happen relatively fast trying to fix what they broke so to say didn't break anything but you know you guys know what i mean just drop a like if you know what i mean and subscribe if you yeah you're awesome because you are thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one okay say now run free and dive into the sky Hear the